I heard the story of an amazing visionary Rwandan woman who had brought women together to drum to break the taboo against drumming and to unite both sides after the genocide, and I thought that was fantastic. And then I heard she had a new project, which was to bring ice cream to Rwanda to help uh, for her, both initiatives are, are, are related. They're both about rebuilding the human spirit. Her idea was that you can't rebuild the country without rebuilding the human spirit. And so I heard this and I just thought it was a fantastic idea. I think it's very easy to, to read about Africa and feel very helpless. So here was something that made us feel less helpless and we were interested in exploring that. The humor and the joy uh, and the beauty in the film can draw people to it in a way that just a purely heavy movie couldn't, because people want to turn away from that. They struggle. They struggle, first of all, like everybody, just to succeed in business and just, to, just the normal problems. But beyond that, they struggle with this legacy of horror and mistrust of one another. So when she says, you know, Rwandans don't forget, and we're all Rwandans, and we know that we've betrayed one another in the worst possible way, you know, I've had a long career in, in movies, in editing big narrative Hollywood movies, movies with big budgets and big stories. And, um, you know, so storytelling is storytelling. But, but uh, documentaries are difficult only in that you can't control them. I made this movie with my brother, and uh, we have very, he's more of a documentarian, and so he brought certain production skills and, uh, He's very interested in verite film, and I'm more interested in a narrative structure. So together, I think this film, this film has both of us in it. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> and I think it really actually went really well. You know, we had our struggles, but uh, I'm not sure they were worse than any coll collaboration, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, we were both equally as invested in it, and um, I think also the p people in Rwanda thought it was interesting, odd, and charming. <laughs> There's a lot of pain about remaining alive, and so just finding reasons. Now, it's not ice cream so much, or even drumming. It's just being together, creating something new, and that's another thing I do want to say, is that the reason for ice cream, in her mind, besides just that it came along and it struck her, and besides joy, is that it was new and nobody knew about it before. In the same way that women drumming was new. So the idea is that when you try really new things, it breaks open the box and after one new thing or a second new thing, you can try other new things and that's how societies change.